see here the place of crucifixion, the place where Jesus was nailed to the cross. Uh, all this part of Guys, we want to thank you so much for your support and messages. We have gotten a lot of questions about the presets, how to install them, how to get them to your Lightroom app, and how to even edit your photos with these presets. So. Welcome to the day two here in Jerusalem. We've been just walking along the old city wall, as you can see, and... Uh, I'm gonna get this kid to sleep. Yes, we had a little sunrise mission to go and see the sunrise in the Mount Olives. Mount of Olives. Yeah, but um, when you have a kid who sleeps past sunrise, he just sleep. <laughs> yeah, you need to make the most out of it, so, so we're going now. <laughs> if, you, if you don't have kids, I really recommend going for sunrise. It's so beautiful. I did that last time I was here and it was like one of my favorite moments of Jerusalem. So we're now heading to Mount of Olives and then we will walk down to Gethsemane and head towards the old town again to check out the garden tomb. And Buy some shorts because it's hot. The weather is changing <laughs> so quickly. Uh, what else are we doing? Then I think we will head to the car and start heading towards Pitsy. Yeah. That would be exciting. But we'll try to explain a few of the sites that we visit. Whether you're religious or not, I think it's quite interesting. So yeah. So we are here in the quite interesting spot. We can see in front of us thousands probably graveyards on the Mount Olives. 15,000 I think. 15,000, wow. So the thing is that uh, in the Bible, the tomb of Zechariah, so Zechariah was prophesying that Christ, when he comes back, he's going to land his feet on the Mount Olives and that makes it the most holy uh, burial ground, which makes it also the most expensive one. <laughs> Did you say over $20,000? Yeah. Do you want to get a spot for you? And here we also see a tomb of Absalom, who was a rebellious son of King David. So it is uh, the garden where they say that Jesus came right after the Last Supper with uh, John, uh, Peter and James. And he was in agony, so in pain, kind of like probably inside because he knew that the, the time is coming closer when he's going to be betrayed. And um, yeah, he was praying here and, and uh, he found the disciples sleeping because he said that, you know, you need to keep and stay awake with me. But uh, he found them sleeping. He said that, you know, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So mm. he went away again to pray and kind of like accepted that, you know, Father, if this is your will, then I must drink this cup. And, uh, moments later, we all kind of like can read in the Bible that he was betrayed and the soldiers came to get him. And mm. yeah. So, but it, it was actually the Gethsemane was the kind of like the bottom of the whole Mount Olives area. So, wh whether it was exactly this spot or not, but, um, yeah, around here, it all happened. So, kind of cool. Kind of cool. 